Hello everybody, I'm Joseph Snyder, CEO of No Borders NBDR, traded on the OTC market. Um, I am uh, here today to talk about our company and the reason that we believe that we are different by design and, uh, and uh, hopefully why we have the bright future that, that we see in front of us and share that with you guys. Uh, initially, got to open up with the Safe Harbor Agreement. We've all seen about 400 of these today, so I'm going to go ahead and skip, skip right through that. Um, no Borders was founded on the idea to disrupt and impact verticals with Web3 technologies, the suite of technologies that our team has a core competency in building and deploying. Uh, we don't outsource our software development. We're not um, going out and, and contracting for the technologies that we build. Um, and to be the world's leading remote work public company with a hyper focus on lean operations and profitable vertical growth. We provide our teams and our staff with the lifestyle by design freedom to work from wherever they want. It helps us to attract fantastic world-class talent while keeping our run rate very, very low, our burn rate very, very low, and allowing our team members to work remotely within our technology stack efficiently and effectively with a core focus on results. That starts with our leadership team, uh, I, I'm on here, <laughs> uh, but our leadership team is comprised of a group of individuals who have over 60 years of experience in technology development, real estate investment, risk management, uh, as well as mergers and acquisitions. Uh, our CTO, who is, uh, as the last gentleman in front of me had, had stated as well how much praise he gave to his CTO who was here, my, my CTO is unfortunately not here today. But our CTO really is um, the, the brains behind the, the organization. Chris Brown has a background in Air Force intelligence and cryptography. He knows how to create and code uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, in code languages, he speaks about eight different languages. Um, and uh, that's more than me. I don't code. I'm not the code guy. I have to come do this. <laughs> So, but we do have a fantastic team. Cynthia Tanabi is our chief financial officer and our chief operating officer. She has a deep background over 40 years of experience in real estate, real estate investment, and, uh, and real estate management. So we have a hyper lean focus in our organization and that begins and ends with her. Uh, I couldn't be here today if we didn't get a great deal with LD Micro <laughs> because she, uh, she makes sure that those kind of things happen and that way I have a very lean organization. Uh, Nick Harrington is our Vice President of Special Projects. We always have one or two of those going on. We are a multifaceted company. We run multiple divisions at the same time. And Brittany Killian is uh, our Project Manager. She oversees our remote customer service success and sales operations. That team is built around the group of companies that we are working within to impact verticals. So our, our ideology is to infiltrate a vertical, to take that infiltration and identify pain points within the vertical to build technological solutions in vertical for ourselves, and then to take those technologies externally and offer them to in vertical market participants and competitors under platform as a service or software as a service models. Towards that end, our growth and disruption strategy is as follows to acquire or deploy in an identified target vertical. Now, we identify target verticals based on a number of factors, but primarily what we're looking for is the opportunity to deploy a distributed ledger, artificial intelligence, or Internet of Things, or combination of those things, inside of a vertical to have an outsized impact on the profitability or return on investment for that vertical. From there, we grow that vertical be our world-class systems, operations, and marketing teams that we have. Growing physical products businesses, consumer products businesses, B2B products businesses, all at the same time, owning the supply chain, owning the access to the market by being a participant in the market while compiling actionable vertical data from inside that vertical to tell us where are the pain points and where are the opportunities for us to create additional value and create technological solutions to offer in market. From there, we deploy um, blockchains, distributed ledgers, Internet of Things, AI, and own the intellectual property and tech platforms 
ourselves. When we originally did our reverse merger two years ago, the ideology behind our go-to-market strategy was actually a partnership model. We believed that we could come to market with these technologies and come to market in a consultative fashion and partner with in vertical companies to achieve results. And what we learned was, A, that's really hard to do. By the time you get past all of the sales points that have to happen in, 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 a, in an in-vertical solution, and the commitment that a company, an existing company that doesn't have a disruption focus, has to make a commitment about, it's hard to get that executive team on board in that situation. And secondarily to that, those contracts would limit our ability to own the solutions that we build. So my solution to that problem about a year and a half ago was to acquire access to the medical and dental equipment vertical by buying MediDent Supplies, which is our medical and dental equipment division. We have about 6,000 SKUs in MediDent Supplies and hundreds of customers all over the world, uh, primarily in the United States, as well as acquiring rights to and deploying our No Borders Naturals wellness CBD line. So we have an active consumer goods division in market and an active B2B division in the medical and dental equipment markets today. An example of our end-to-end -end strategy deployed. We launched No Borders Naturals as a consumer products division just over a year ago. We took No Borders Naturals to market all across the United States of America on an event-based model. We shared it with over 30,000 medical professionals last year, and we recorded all of the feedback, all of the consumer feedback from the direct-to-consumer, all of the medical feedback from the medical professionals. The data showed us very, very clearly. Number one, there's a pain point, there's a fear point of a consumer worried about failing a drug test and losing their job. Even if the product works, which some CD, CBD products seem to work better than others, I'm very proud of ours. Even if the products work, a truck driver doesn't want to lose his job. A policeman doesn't want to lose his job. Nobody wants to lose their job. And that's a, that's a tangible fear point. And secondarily to that, the consumer fear point is that people don't know what's in the product. They, they, they walk into a store and they see on a shelf that there's a 1,000 and a 2,500 and a 3,500 and nobody knows what any of it means. Just recently, News 10 down in San Diego went CBD shopping. They bought 10 different product lines <laughs> and they sent them all out for testing and none of them had the stated amounts of CBD that were on the labels. Not a single one. So we built CBD Lab Chain. CBD Lab Chain is a live, fully launched, fully deployed, 100% active blockchain security platform for third-party COAs and lab tests. Now, at the moment, this is specifically marketed to CBD. That's the vertical that we're in. But this platform can be replicated to other verticals. And we own a bunch of domains <laughs> around other verticals as we look at scaling out that platform moving forward. But what we did was we built an industry-first distributed ledger technology blockchain platform on the Ethereum blockchain, which is one of the largest blockchain networks in the world, has one of the second most nodes next to Bitcoin. Um, that gives us batch-specific QR linking or individual batch number solutions. What that means is that on a consumer package, you can have a QR code and the consumer can scan the individual package itself and immediately see an immutable, permanent, secure record of the spectrum analysis result for that exact product. We built this for ourselves. This is 100% deployed in Noblers Naturals. Our entire product line is secured on blockchain. All of our COAs are secure on blockchain. And that value proposition we've taken to market just in the last about 30 days since we launched CBD Lab Chain at Blockchain Expo in San Francisco a few weeks ago. Um, but we built it for our own product line, have deployed it in our own product line, and are now making it available to hemp and CBD brands all around the world. What this provides is a tangible trust layer for the consumers and a unique selling proposition for CBD brands, right? The certification that CBD Lab Chain provides to a CBD brand or to a hemp company today allows that company to demonstrate to their consumers with an individual icon that can go directly on the package and a QR code that can go directly on the package that their lab test results, their COAs, or our COAs as it is today, are accurate, they're correct, and that product has exactly what 
the label says it has, and the consumer can see that in real time. We are, we believe we are, <laughs> different by design. That's the hashtag that we use around social media. It's the ideology that we started with. We have the name No Borders because we look at the limitless opportunity in multiple verticals from these cutting edge technologies being deployed and disrupting verticals from the inside out. We are a current alternative reporting company today and we have a qualified reggae offering open with the SEC that's currently blue skyed in both New York and Colorado. We've done additional state filings with Delaware and Florida. We'll be moving on Texas and California as well as some of our investment groups come on board. But the reality is primarily this comes out of New York <laughs> is, is where most of this stuff happens today. Um, we are raising $3 million currently. Uh, our opening uh, tranche with the SEC, the, the opening uh, qualification of the rate is at a penny a share. Uh, we are currently trading over the last few months between 1.5 and 2.5, somewhere in that trading range. So uh, there is a discount to market uh, in the reggae offering, and uh, we do have that reggae offering currently open. Uh, we come here today about almost two years after our reverse merger. We acquired No Borders in March of 2018. Uh, since that time, we've deployed the brands that you saw here today. We have four quarters of consecutive quarter over quarter revenue growth with over 25% revenue growth quarter over quarter last quarter alone. Uh, we have no variable convertible debt whatsoever. Uh, when we acquired the company, there was uh, three pieces of variable convertible debt that the business owed. We acquired two of those and settled one of them out for one penny on the dollar for the conversion and got rid of that uh, almost two years ago now. So we have been able to have no variable convertible debt because we have strong equity ownership by management and private investors. We have raised nearly $2 million in private capital to get where we are today. And we move forward with a very strong equity position in the company from our, from our uh, management and also from our friendly shareholders who support our mission and our vision to deploy these things at scale. As I mentioned about Cynthia Tanabe earlier, we have an extremely low burn rate. We're a 100% remote work company. We don't pay for lease space anywhere in the world. Now we do have fulfillment centers, we do have operations, things do cost money, and we ship real products to real customers every single day across multiple divisions. But we don't pay electric bills, we don't pay heating bills, we don't pay for office space. And our staff, we typically look at a comp structure that's less than most of them could earn at other places. And a lot of the value proposition for that is that they get to work from home. We have a fantastic technology stack that we rely on to make sure that remote work is fluid, accurate, and that we get the results that we need. Our technology teams here is Jira. Our operations teams use Asana and Slack. Uh, we use HubSpot for customer management. We use Zendesk for direct customer communications. Um, we've built those stacks out over the last few years. We have nothing proprietary there, not like our CBD lab chain product, but that stack's really important when you're looking at remote work and when you're looking at how do I replace a physical office where people come together and give them a digital environment where that they can succeed and be supported. I think that we've shown over the last 18 months that our executive team has the ability, the tenacity, and the experience to deploy in multiple verticals with varied sales models at the same time while building technology in vertical to solve real world solutions. When we launched CBD Lab Chain a month ago at Blockchain Expo in San Francisco, the feedback that we got was that people were able to understand the consumer value proposition of blockchain for the first time. Everybody gets crypto, 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 crypto. I, I'm not a crypto guy, I never have been. <laughs> and as the CEO of a company that comes through distributed ledger as a core focus of what we believe is the way that business gets better in the future, that's a little bit of a disconnect sometimes. But what we've wanted to show the world is that these technologies reduce risk, they reduce cost, and they add an impactful and tangible trust layer to business operations today. 
CBD Lab Gene is our first example of that. We're proud to bring it to market. We're proud of our No Borders Naturals product line. In my humble opinion, I know there's other CBD companies here. Uh, we have the finest line of CBD products on, on, on the market today. And we have the only line of CBD products on the market today whose lab test results, COAs, are permanently and immutably recorded and stored on blockchain. Thank you so much. I'll be taking any questions that y'all have.